Anthony Davis dropped 55 points in the nation's capital. Since starting 2-10 over their past 10 games, the Lakers are tied with Boston, New Orleans, and Phoenix for the best record across the association. That's in large part due to AD averaging a monster 35.4 points, 15.6 rebounds, and 2.9 blocks per game over that span. We're currently witnessing the strongest version of Davis than ever before, improved strength that's helped his durability in terms of fighting through injuries. Davis is on pace to add the first rebounding championship of his career, and he's sneaking up on Brooke Lopez for the league lead in blocks. AD's become the first Laker with a 50.15 rebound game on 70% shooting from the field since Wilt Chamberlain back in 1969. He's also become the first Laker since Kobe in 2001 with back-to-back 40-10 and 10 games. I talked about this being the strongest AD we've ever seen, and watch how his strength helps him body off Porzingis after this left-handed in-and-out move. Davis is just putting his head down and bouncing off anyone put in front of him right now, further displaying Davis's underrated handle. He takes it coast-to-coast -coast in transition, goes hezy crossover again to his offhand, then puts a forceful yet fundamental shoulder into the much smaller Corey Kispert for the and one. A weak side DHO to Braun sees AD get left alone on the short roll, and Davis clearly has his old bounciness back as he springs up for the monster lob. LeBron just moved into 6th place all time in total dimes, and lob passes like that one definitely helped get him there. I talked more about James in my last Laker video. Back to Davis though who at the end of the shot clock rotates from Kispert to Gafford to not only time this blocked shot, but beach volleyball the rebound away from two wizard defenders. Pat Beverly cuts back to the strong side corner right here, making this a full-sided action, but despite the extra traffic, including Kispert going straight up directly in his grill, Davis just calmly floats it over Kispert. Some easy money in an iso after Hillbilly clears out, sees Davis use a triple threat move and spin off that right pivot foot, getting Porzingis thinking drop step with the unicorn frozen, AD just calmly steps back and sinks it. This drop coverage turns into a switch at the last minute after Beverly rotates back out to Porzingis, a perfectly timed contest from Davis, who's number 7 in the league in total contested shots. Lonnie Walker grabs the board and pushes the tempo, Davis leaks out in transition as well, and just watch the beautiful underhanded bullet through two defenders from Lonnie, rewarding the brow who dunks it home. Speaking of jams, here Davis vacuums up his own miss with his 7'6 wingspan and absolutely destroys both Porzingis and Gafford by punching it on their heads. Welcome to your Kodak moment! That's just mean, AD. With the ability to switch from traditional old school low post monster to modern day stretch 5 on a possession to possession basis, after the flashy drive and kick from Russ, despite the pass being low and Will Barton closing out, Davis calmly collects it and uses all 9 feet of his standing reach to release a deep range bomb over Barton. Right back to old school big, and AD sets the pick for Russ, sticking Barton to him, but even under that pressure, along with Anthony Gill doing a decent job of rotating over, Davis gets the the bullet from Westbrook and just sidesteps around Gill and somehow sticks the landing for the and one. Back to modern day 5, and here he stops short around the foul line with three wizard defenders blocking off the paint and knocks it down. This impressively spaced out empty side pick and roll set with LeBron sees Davis slip the screen and elusively pop out. Taj Gibson recovers like his life depends on it, but Davis just sinks it like it's nothing. There's not much defensive game plans can do about AD when the bucket he scores after getting two spot up jumpers comes via storm to the basket and ridiculous reach back for it one handed lob jam. Yet another beautiful dime from a Laker creator takes place right here. Russ pushes it up at 100 miles per hour, then stops on a dime to set up Davis with a nasty no looker to complete the fast break, and Davis just beasts his way through the contact of Gafford. Just a monster all around showing from AD, specifically on offense. If Davis can keep up what he's doing, the Lakers very well could be back in the title picture, despite having a record just under 500 as of this recording. LeBron spoke on AD after his historic night in DC, saying, quote, The beast is waking up, as everybody can tell, end quote.
Is Anthony Davis the top MVP candidate right now? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by December 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Today's speaks winner is Bose, who says, I think we can easily see Steph play to the same age as LeBron, or even as late as 40. He's just as hungry to win now after 4 rings as he's ever been, and the front office is doing a great job of cultivating younger players either via trades or the draft to build around him. They'll have the pieces to not only extend his playing window, but how long Steph can realistically contend for a title. Thanks for watching, have a good one.